Shooter, get your whoa, ass over here. Whoa. How about I make you famous? All you gotta do, do is agree to a duel. I killed I worse spent my than life you. proving fools like you wrong. Let's go. Get up. Everything all right, madam? It's Miss. Oh. oh. Let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. So you want me to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please, sir. I'll see what I can do. Oh.
speaking the truth now. Watch your step for the money. What brings you in here, Parker? Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellas meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Peter, is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know, where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Well, let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand for me. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. <laughs> the dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stage, coach. If you could convince her to take me back. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Now, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Why are you still here? Here. This might loosen your tongue. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Was in here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, <laughs> what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fellow's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. I hear they pay through the nose for raccoon meat over the border. Crazy Mexicans. You don't say. The angels are coming to Armadillo oh, really? to bring the wicked from the mix. Excuse me. There's treasure buried out by Rio Del Lobo. I know it. I intend to find it. Since you're here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. But right now, I need another gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits who are getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. Hey, wait up! Let's go. Stay together. Marston, I hear you caught up with Mr. West Dickens. I did. For a man who claims to have found a remedy to all ailments, he was in pretty bad shape. His tonic has helped a great many people. It's a medical breakthrough from the research. If only it could cure him of his diarrhea of the mouth. He's no more a scientist than I am a priest. But people can spend their hard-earned money however they please. He's certainly a character, that West Dickens. I can't understand a goddamn word he said. Might just be a dead critter. Arson, take a look. Eli, you too. Ain't no survivors here, Marshal.
Man, this don't look too good. Somebody was so busy killing people, they went and dropped their gun. You're weak men. A pack of cowards is the most dangerous kind. Some men are just born plain neat. I think it's this land that makes the men. As much as the other way around. Men are born, and then they're poor. At least that's how I see it. Any number of people. Especially now the word's out we're cleaning up the county. Between Walton's boys and the rustlers, we've been spilling a lot of blood. Man gets more evil when he's running scared. Not Marshall! More vultures! God damn it! Come on, let's take a look. Man, more dead bodies. And the fire's still smoking. The scumbags must still be around. Come on! Boys. Looks like they're headed for Ridgewood Farm. Sons of bitches! Didn't you once run a gang of outlaws, Larson? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Killing and thieving's never right, boy. No matter how you dress it up. Unless it's ordered by a court of law, you mean. Slow down! Where is everyone? Split up and search the area. John, check the buildings in the barn. Jet's clear, Marshal. Let's go. Blow it up now. No one here. Holy sweet mother of mercy. Please, please don't shoot me. Some bandits came by and took us hostage. They're holed up in the farmhouse. Some of my family is being kept hostage inside. <laughs> Shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. You can make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. Thank you. They said they were gonna kill us all. Try to escape me to the south, but then 
Mr. Marbosar chasing him down like wild dogs. I thought you were supposed to protect us, Marshal. You fucking men. You ain't nothing. You just some men on a government payroll taking money that the rest of us have to pay for with our lives. Yeah. What is wrong with this country? Not up, men. The man that kills the boss of that bunch gets $50. It ain't about the money, Marshal. These are people's lives. People's homes. Let's go! Get on your horse, boy! Hurry, boy! Yeah. Let's go! What's your favorite way anyway, Arthur? Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. What the hell are you talking about? Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Why does that involve you? We used to run in a gang together. It was once like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about bigger and we've moved past the family part. Eyes up! You see that? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Keep together and stay in here. This is the best cover we got. Stop that! Buddy. Thanks for your help, John. Norman here is gonna help us get to Bill. <coughs> Ain't you, Norman? Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. Yourself and 
any kind of a shot, mister? I'm the best shot around here. Nobody better, and I'll put money on it. Sure. I always enjoy putting a man in his place. Never did like birds. Looks like I won. You beat me, mister. Nobody ever done that. Howdy, miss. Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care, then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I, I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. <coughs> Come on. So, 
Slow down! Come there on, you bro. are. 